Will the path Emmett wants to run be long enough to get him in shape? In this lesson, you will learn how to estimate the reasonableness of answers to fraction word problems by using benchmark fractions. Let's review. Benchmark fractions are the ones we are most familiar with and used to assist us in rounding and estimating. One-fourth, one-half, and three-fourths are just a few examples. Reasonable means to be logical. Would it be logical for a paper airplane to hatch from an egg? Or would it be logical for a bird to hatch from an egg? The bird is logical and therefore reasonable. Let's try a problem. Emmett is training for his school's jogging competition and has to jog at least one and a half miles each day. He thinks if he runs to his papa's house, which is one and five eighths of a mile away, then to his friend's house, which is a quarter of a mile away, that will be long enough. Is he correct? To solve this problem, we are going to calculate, estimate, and compare. First, let's calculate the problem. We know Emmett wants to jog one and a half miles each day. He thinks if he runs one and five-eighths of a mile plus a quarter of a mile, it will be enough. Let's calculate to find out if one and five-eighths plus one-fourth equals m for miles. We use the identity property to make the equivalent fraction of two-eighths, which replaces one-fourth to make common denominators. The sum is one and seven eighths miles. Is one and seven eighths miles less than or greater than Emmett's goal of one and a half miles? Since seven eighths is larger than one fourth, Emmett was correct. Next, let's estimate. We see we are adding eighths and fourths. Since one fourth is a benchmark number, let's pick the nearest fourth to change five eighths to. Looking at the number lines, we see two fourths or three fourths would work as five eighths is in between both. Let's choose three fourths. Three fourths plus one fourth equals one, and then one plus one equals two. We are estimating two miles. Last, we need to compare our answer to our estimate to make sure our answer is reasonable. Otherwise, we will need to rethink the way we solve the problem. We calculated one and seven eighth miles and we estimated two miles. Although we arrived at two different answers, they are similar enough, which tells us our answer is reasonable. In this lesson, you have learned how to estimate the reasonableness of answers to fraction word problems by using benchmark fractions.